Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we are going to be setting up the power supply for our Falcon F-16 V5 controller. But before we get into it, if you could do me a huge favor, hit subscribe for the channel and give the video a like. That really helps the algorithm out a lot in favor of our channel. Um, while we're setting this up for our Falcon uh, F-16 Pixel controller board, this video actually is pretty generic in how we wire up the AC cable to the power supply and then calibrate it to generate the desired voltage, which is we're shooting for 12 volts. So let's go ahead and get it set up. Now we can actually start the fun point. So here's a backer board. I bought a fancy backer board from uh, Kenneth Wired Watts. Um, everybody sells these, right? And you buy it for the enclosure and the controller that you want to use. So for mine, the way it works and it has all the holes pre-drilled which is super nice it's a lot easier than it was a few years back like so okay so the pixel cables hang out the bottom the power comes up on the right side screws down into there right so the next step is I'm gonna mount the power supply to the board on the back we have these four screws this is where they go in I think that's important with these is to remember not to screw them in too tight if it, you don't want them to go in too far because then it's wrecking your power supply all right so we have it like this we flip it over we line up the holes nope that's not it this one that one like that there we go all right. i'm still doing this blind had eye surgery like the other week we're not quite there yet I can see a little bit kind of like Han Solo shooting whatever that thing was on Tatooine I can see a little bit I normally screw these in by hand but my, all my Phillips head screwdrivers are downstairs These are really good length. Okay, just like that. And then this guy would go right there. Okay, now we're not gonna put him on yet. Let's get the power cord. We're gonna wire up the power supply. Now, it's important to do this right, all right, because this is AC connection. So to make sure, I label them. So let's get a good close look at this. And we're, we'll get the ARP approved magnifying glass and flashlight. All right, so you can see on the end, on the far right, we have L for line, N for neutral, and then that little arrow thing for ground. Now, those, I keep forgetting those. I'm not an electrician by trade. So I, med, I mark them green, white, black. So I know what uh, color wires to match up with them with the standard US coloring. Now, if we look to the, if we keep going left, we see V minus and V plus. So those will be, I have, I can have three connections for the screw downs. So for mine, I don't do power inject. I don't provide power mostly off the controller itself. So I use the same controller for both V1 and V2 for powering the controller board. And so I use two of the three connectors. Then if you look even further left, you see that white thing to the left of the terminal block? That's a tiny little screw that you can use to adjust the power. So this generates 12 volts. So if we look at the fine print, try to hold this without shaking. Okay, you see on the left there, it says LRS-35012. Now, LRS-35012, this is a nice power supply because if it notices a problem, it won't continue to power until it catches on fire. So it kind of has a safety feature. Now, we look at the input, right? The numbers mean something. The input is 100 to 120 volts in and, you know, 6.8 amps. Now, the output... It outputs 12 volts at 29 amps. So I can get 29 amps of power out of this. 
So the controller itself uses, I think, two to four amps, uh, if, unless you're powering something. So this is more than enough, and I'll power maybe a couple of props off it, but typically not too much, right? But you always want to double check those output setting, those output numbers for your power supply, and make sure you don't exceed it. And I usually try to give myself around, you know, a 12% buffer, or so to, at, you know, so I don't. I'm sure I'm not overloading it. Now that little screw, though, what you can do is you can tune it in so it can be exactly 12 volts. Or if you want to give it a little running start, 12.01. But you want to set it and then observe your pixels, right? Different pixels from different years performed differently. You know, some years, if you had it too high, uh, you would get ghosting, right? Other pixels, if, you know, it, it, they can vary a little bit. So you want, to, you want to tweak it. And you can experiment with it, right? It's part of the, the tinkering part of the hobby. So we're going to go ahead and screw these on. Just going to go loosen these three. And I apologize again, I am doing this blind. Uh, okay. I can see the colors real good mostly good all right so here's my black one the green now I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna detach this again so don't get freaked out because I'm just doing this for a test all right there's the other end of the power cord so now I'm gonna test out the power supply which is my power strip and I have my multimeter so we plug them in. Oh, now, the other thing to always check, and I had this, this set wrong once. On the side here. So you notice here, we look at the numbers for the input. It has 120 volt and 220 volt. The way you select which one it's going to use is right here. Let me get my AARP approved. And let's see, with my eyes, I think that says the right thing. Let me double check. Let me try flipping it here. See, that's 220. We flip it back, it says 115, which is more in the range. I had one set wrong once, and it had kind of a rhythmic flicker to it. So. That was the uh, the failure pattern. So if you ever see that, you know, just keep it in mind, maybe that switch got flipped. But once it's in the case, it's really hard to flip that switch. There's really no room at all. So, which means you also want to check it before you plug it in, uh, before you, you know, put it into the case, because once it's in there, it's harder to get out. Okay, we turn it on, and I'm expecting that little green light to come on. Okay, now at this point, it's important to note, uh, there's a lot of power running through this. So you want to be super careful not to touch the little uh, the little screws. Other power supplies I've gotten come with a nice little plastic cover that flips down so you don't accidentally uh, shock yourself to death. But uh, the mean wheels, which focus on safety, don't. Now this is a little bit older. This is from 2022, bought it from Holiday Lighting when they were doing uh, pre-sales and this one has not been used yet so this is a brand new power supply effectively i just haven't uh, it's just been in storage all right so now i want to test so here i have my multimeter and what i'm going to do is i want to 
put it to this setting here. Okay, so I have it at 20 volts DC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a measuring voltage. Okay, <clears throat> now remember, these were my, apologize, I am blind. It is V minus and V plus. V minus, V plus. Minus is always black, plus is always red. Now let's watch the meter. So, V minus, V plus. And you see that? It says 12.12. That's way too much. I don't want that. So I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. All right, so I find a smallest screwdriver and you need to be really careful. And you just turn it ever so little, because a little does a lot. Okay, so I'm turning it to the left, just a teensy, itsy bit. And I lost my leads. Come back to me. And if you get the positive and negative mixed up on these, it doesn't really matter. It'll just show negative instead of positive voltage. All right. See, now it's too low. All right. So let me try doing this a couple hands at a time. And I can watch the measurements as I change it. So gently nudging it. You see, even the gentle nudge, it went all the way up. It's kind of like the faucet at a hotel bath, a hotel, um, um, at a hotel tub, right? You change that heat just a little bit and it's burning you a little more and it's cooling you. And that's too little. I usually like it at around 12.1. Boom. Or 12. That works too. <clears throat> so it's tuned in right where I want it. Okay. So now that's done. So that is how we hook up the power supply and calibrate. Hi, I'm John Storms. No, no. Hi, I'm John Storms. Wiring. Hi, I'm John Storms. No, no, no. Hi, I'm John Storms. This is a. Hi, I'm John Storms. Hi, I'm John Storms. Oh my God. I suck at this. 16 V5, V version, version 5? Oh my god. Ah, oh, let's start over.